Hey everyone, it's Special Kate 8, and I'm doing a um, what I wore this month for June 2015. Um, I'm doing a quick look at the wet bags I used. I know I didn't technically wear them, um, but this one is from Cuddle Blossom Cloth. Um, it is a wet dry bag, so really cute print there. Um, and then this one um, is from Owl About Cloth, again a smaller version of a wet dry bag. And then this was the pad wrapper that I used um, the most often and used it with the Cuddle Blossom cloth um, bag. So um, this one is from Handmade by Alicia. I also, um, for the first time, tried a sea sponge tampon this time. Um, I used it, I knew I was going swimming, and so this was a, like, this is easier to try to figure out than a cup. It worked great. Um, I did have some problems getting it out, um, so I'm going to take some practice with that. I think also I'm going to move up a size, because um, I think it will be easier to grasp if it's bigger. Um, but it worked great. Then my lights um, and ones. Um, I used the Novel Red Pad that I am doing for review. Um, and I actually had this on a day that I had gone to um, where I was light, but um, my period came back a little bit heavier than I anticipated, and it held up beautifully. Um, so I was really impressed with it. It was actually hard to tell how much it had it absorbed. Um, I don't know if it was the dark color or because it was quicker absorbing and because it was the crushed velvet, but um, I probably should have switched it earlier than I did. When I rinsed this out, it had held a lot, um, which it was very impressive to me because I didn't have any leaks, um, but I wasn't intentionally trying to push it to the limit, but it did work really well. Then um, this is a sleeping dough. This is the shortest one um, that I used. Um, it probably is too short for me, but I love the print, so I tried it, but I don't know that it's going to stay with me. Nothing wrong with the pad at all, just shorter than what I would, would usually need. Um, but it was, it was it's a really cute print. It's sewn well. It has Winpro back. Um, this one is Me So Funky. Um, it's a velour topped, I think... I can't remember if it's cotton or bamboo floor, but it was a seconds because of the stitching on the wing. Um, so it was slightly discounted because of that, but it was a beautiful colors. I liked the colors a lot and it worked well for me. And then this one is um, a Lazy Creek Boutique um, and it's a corduroy top. It's actually probably a moderate or heavy, um, but I used it for um, a light day because of how um, short it is. So I don't know that I'm going to be able to keep it just because of the length. Um, is it is a thicker pad because it is meant to be, I think, a heavy. Um, and then for moderates, I used this um, fig leaves pad and it has um, little chocolates on it and it's flannel topped. And I like the flannel a lot um, and when pro backed, it worked great. And this one I received in a swap group um, where we sew our own pads and we trade. So it's actually the blue dinosaurs pattern if you sew your pads. And you can look this one up. Really cute print with the owls and the feathers. Then this one is from Eco Cat NZ. Um, this is one that I got when she was originally opening her shop. And it's one of the testing ones. So I'm using it a little bit more so I can get some better feedback for her. Um, and then the last moderate one is this yurt craft one, um, three stars, really adorable, um, fairies. Then for heavies, I used two by Mama Jewel's Handmade Gems. Um, this one is suede cloth, this one is cotton top. They're both, um, backed in Win Pro. And this one is 12 inches and this is 13 inches. Um, and they both have a slight flare on the back, which worked great for me. I actually used them upside down because um, I need the more coverage in the front. So I used it this way um, and they held up really well and washed up nicely. This one is from, I think, Cloth Dreams is what they called it. Um, I'm not 100% sure on the name of that one, but I bought it from someone else who had never used it before. It's flannel topped. And it does have this little channel stitching in the middle, um, which made it really hard to wash up. Um, it's regular fleece on the back. It worked really well, though. I liked it a lot, um, but just it was a little bit annoying to try to clean. So um, that's what it is snapped. Then I have this minky topped one from Caroline's Creations. It's hidden PUL with flannel back. And then a pink lemonade shop, um, cotton topped. Win Pro back 
Um, I don't have very many from her. I don't love them. I don't know why specifically, um, but anyway, I'll do a review on them at some point in time. And so I used that one. I used Sleeping Doe um, and with the Red Ninjas. It um, worked really well. Win Pro Back. I liked it a lot. I like how narrow it snaps up um, for the with the curvy style. Um, so I still get the coverage that I really like, and but it's not super wide. So I did like that one a lot. And then I used the Yurtcraft um, flannel tops. Um, I know it's not a glamorous pad. It's not super cute. Um, it really is kind of just functional, but I love it. It um, works super well for me, and I do end up grabbing it most um, ones. So it's backed in WinPro. So it works really well for me. It is a three-star. And then my overnights and really heavy ones. Um, I have a Yurtcraft here that's four stars. So there's the four stars. Cute um, state map print. Um, it is. These are all kind of longer ones. I was trying out what it looked like to use longer pads. Next is a queen pad from Party in My Pants. Um, it is really long. It's a lot longer than I anticipated. Um, I'm not quite sure if I, this is, sounds really silly to say. I'm not quite sure if it's flannel or woven on top. It's it's more heavy duty like like cotton woven um, but it's quicker absorbing than most cotton woven so I'm not really sure what it is but anyway it worked great it is really wide so I used it at night um, so you, I, this is the only time I'd be able to wear it um, this one is one from Lazy Creek Boutique and I loved it it worked great um, when pro backed I had problems washing this one up so we'll move along quickly um, this one is from um, me so funky and then my last one is from Sweet Dragon Cloth Really Long Sherpa Tops and then when probacked.